after the rookie? No, no, no. It's just tonight. We'll reevaluate tomorrow. This year? Yeah. That's a great question. Uh, 100. 113. Ooh. That's when close. It, yeah, yeah. When it comes to guys understanding, like, they can watch the video of okay, what to do, and then seeing it in person, is that going to be frustrating? Yeah, guys? I think you have to feel it. It's something we've talked about already in our film session. Um, James is as clever as anybody in the league at drawing fouls, and so. Uh, you can talk about it until you're blue in the face, and then uh, inevitably, you know, there's, there's going to be a foul, and the player's going to turn and look at the bench, and we're going to shrug our shoulders, and so you got to you got to be able to, you know, just move on. Um, but you understand that he's been uh, drawing fouls in this league for a long time, and he's really smart. He knows what he's doing. Well, they're going to start keying in on him. Um, maybe they send a double team. Um, I think they'll continue. Defenses will continue to make it prove that he can make the outside shot. He's so powerful. Um, you know that that's still going to be the preferred option. He's got to keep working on that shot and stay confident with it, and uh, just keep playing, keep learning. Is there anything about this film from Bill that thought he could ever be, you know, a guy you could rely on offensively? Uh, well, Jay, I talked to Jay Wright a lot about him over the summer, and uh, the thing Jay said, the thing Jay said was that uh, he said you're going to be surprised at how good he is in isolation. And uh, he said he's a typical New Yorker, you know, New York basketball player. Like he's he's confident and he's going to attack off the dribble. And um, Jay was right, you know, I mean, it, it, that was a play on words, wasn't it? That's pretty good. It's unintentional. Not even a chuckle. Jay was right. W-R-I-G-H-T. Nothing? That was terrible. Fair enough. You're right. Um, I think um, uh, this happens a lot in, uh, in the NBA where you get a guy who maybe didn't score a ton in college, and then all of a sudden he's got the space to, to move in the NBA and he starts scoring, you go, man, where was this? It's a different game. Um, there's so much more court to work with. The rules are different. Uh, so Eric, you know, we didn't expect this, but um, he obviously, you know, had this kind of potential and um, he's making the most of his opportunity. So it's exciting. You talked about uh the last time you were in this building, how much of a signature win that was. How was it kind of being here with all these changes? You know, you're still playing the Rockets, but yeah. it's not, you know, how it used to be. Uh, yeah, it's different. I mean, we've been here for so many big games over the years. Uh, I think we've played them four times in the playoffs in five years, if I'm not mistaken. So this building will always uh, be special. For, for me coming in here, just thinking about all the great battles uh, we've had. Last year's Game 6 win was uh, possibly possibly the best win we've ever had, you know, uh, just in terms of the injuries and, and uh, the way we played, the way Steph played in the second half, uh, the way the ball moved to finish out a, a great uh, team in a series on the road. Uh, so our last game here was pretty memorable, but there's not a single player on our team tonight who was there for that night. Um, it's crazy to think about, but it's the reality, so it'll be a different feel tonight. I'm excited to see Erico against probably P.J. Tucker at times tonight. I've been talking about it. Strong against strong. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of muscle. Um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be good for him. You know, I think Eric is used to having uh, strength advantage, and uh, nobody has a strength advantage against P.J., so uh, it'll be a good matchup for him, and Houston does such a good job switching. It'll be a different kind of defense that he's facing, and uh, all of this stuff is really good experience for him. What do you see out of this kind of retooled version of Houston, obviously, Westbrook football? Well, it's early, you know, and... and uh, it's, uh, it's hard to evaluate a team right now based on uh, 
you know, the however many games, seven games. So uh, it'll take some time uh, to, to you know, get everything in order. They had a slow start last year, and then they ended up being one of the best teams in the league. So I imagine the same thing will happen, but it takes time. Is there anything you saw from Kyle in the preseason or practice that made you think you could throw him into some meaningful minutes that he would thrive? Uh, to be honest, not really. You know, uh, we had Steph playing those minutes. Kai didn't get much of an opportunity. He came in and played limited minutes for us in preseason. Uh, even in scrimmages, sometimes he, you know, he wouldn't get in because Steph was on one team and Jacob Evans was on the other. But the one thing our scouts told us when uh, when we signed him was how competitive he was, how tough he was. He played 39 minutes a game at Boston College, and he was really a scoring guard. Uh, so. We knew he had that in him, but we hadn't seen it yet, but he hadn't had the chance yet. So as soon as he got his opportunity, he made the most of it. And uh, so it's exciting just to have a young guy like him who's that competitive, uh, that confident at such a, an early time of the year. What do you think about the steadiness in this? Kyle seems like his makeup, I guess. Like he, he had three fouls in the first time of the last game, but that's how he finished. Like he kept yeah. his yeah, I mean, he's just very poised for a young player. Um, you know, nine assists and three turnovers, great ratio for a young point guard going against uh, you know, one of the best backcourts in the league with Damian and, and CJ. So, uh, Kai was fantastic. This is, uh, this is how it's supposed to work. You know, guys get injured and everything's in flux. You know, one thing you know is that players will get opportunities and they have to make the most of them. Yeah. Our guys have done that. As a two-way player, he's got 45 days. How do you manage it? Um, you just try to you know, save the days as best you can. Um, one of the reasons we didn't practice <coughs> yesterday when we got here was to save uh, save a day. But um, not a whole lot we can do. You know, we can save a day here or there, but um, we need practice days badly too. This is the last couple of years with our two-way situation. We could very easily give uh, give the team a day off, and we wouldn't miss a, a beat. But this team needs a lot of work. We need a lot of practice, and uh, so we can only do that so often. Where do you think defensively this team is as far as progress goes? Gotten better the last couple games. You know, I think uh, we're making strides. Our, our young guys are starting to understand the pictures that they're seeing. Uh, the NBA is such a different game from college, and they're starting to understand the nuances and uh, the coverages and uh, so much better, much better uh, effort and, and uh, focus and uh, awareness over the last couple of games. So hopefully that continues. Tonight is difficult cover in, uh, in a lot of ways. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.